Liam, first of all, welcome to Stoke City. You've joined on a season-long loan from Manchester City. How mm. does it feel to be here? Obviously, it's a brilliant feeling. I think I've I've known and been been around this club for a, for a long time, and to finally get the deal done and get over the line, I'm I'm buzzing. Can't wait to get started. There's a lot of speculation over the summer. How glad are you to finally get it done? Yeah, I think you just want you just want it done. So to all get it done now, it's perfect, and can't wait to get ready and get started. There's no doubt that there were a lot of clubs interested you interested in you from a number of leagues. So what was the deciding factor in you coming here? I think I just went with my gut. I've always in in my life gone with my gut and you can't really go against that. So I just chose and stuck with my gut, so that's so why I chose here. I understand the manager met with you and spoke with you. So what impressed you about what he had to say? I think I just I really liked his idea for me. Um, as a footballer to improve and I thought he was a nice and, and I thought he was a good man so I, I really liked, liked what he had to say and, and liked his plan so that's why. How much did his reputation of developing young players kind of influence your own decision to come? Yeah I think that's obviously important obviously being a young player I think at, at my age I am now improvement is probably one of the most important things so for him to be able to help me that would be a great great thing for me. Talking of influences, it's obviously your dad's first team coach here and had a great career here at the football club. Did he influence your decision in any way? No, I think he he knows. He he just left it down to me really. Just didn't didn't say too much, just said go with how you're feeling, so he left it down to me and this I chose here. Just speaking in general terms, how big an influence there was your your dad had on your career? Yeah, I think obviously he's he's been through it, so he knows how it knows how it goes, and he's helped me and given me lots of advice throughout my career to to help me and and try and do the do the best I can. When you're young and you saw what your dad achieved, did you always want to kind of follow in his footsteps? Yeah, I think I've always I've always grown up around football and watched football from a very young age, and. It's all I can think about doing, so I couldn't imagine doing anything else. You came through at the academy at Derby County before moving to Man City a couple of years ago. How much do you feel as though you've developed in that time? I think massive, massively. I think I chose to to go to Man City after my GCSEs at school. And I think the development there and and at Derby both has just been been excellent, and the amount I've developed has been unbelievable. Obviously, you've trained on a regular basis with some of the best strikers in the world. I mean, how beneficial has that been? Yeah, I think obviously being in around the them top strikers, I think you can learn so much from them and kind of implement it in your game. So just watching them and being around them helps you and helps you kind of implement that into yourself. In terms of your qualities, what do you hope to bring to the side? I hope to bring goals. I'm I'm quite big, powerful, fast. So I'll be looking to be direct and hopefully put the ball in the back of the net. You played a few senior games for Man City, do you feel as though that'll help you and has prepared you for this loan opportunity? In yeah, the I think um, obviously men's, men's football is different and it's a different challenge but I think from what the games I've played I think I'm ready and I'm, I'm ready to play and step up into men's football. How much are you looking forward to that opportunity to play on a regular basis? I can't wait honestly, like that's all I've been, been looking forward to, I think that just being around the team and being a part of the squad every week, I think it would be unbelievable. I'm so happy to start. Do you feel as though it's going to help you grow as a player? Yeah, I think obviously the being in around it every week and training constantly and being involved in the games is going to, going to mature you as a player and it will improve me. There's quite a few young players in the squad. Do you feel as though that will help you settle in? Yeah, I think so. I think it's always good to have people kind of in your position to kind of settle in with and they'll understand what, what process you're on as well and also the older players obviously they've been through what I, I've been through so it'll be good. The team have created a lot of chances in the first few games, have you already spotted areas where you can make an impact? Yeah I think I watched a few, well I've obviously watched the games and they've had, I've had a lot of chances and uh, created a lot of chances so hopefully I can put them chances in the back of the net. As a striker, have you kind of set yourself any targets for this season? I think I kind of set myself my own targets, just keep them to myself, but obviously just scoring goals and, and playing minutes, getting games. 
you've decided to go with the number 17 shirt, the first player to, to take the shirt since Ryan Shawcross left the club. I know the families are, are very close. Was that kind of in your thinking when you decided to go for that number? Yeah, I think so. I think he, obviously, I, I watched him as a young player. He was a captain, so he was, I watched him since I was a little kid and, and growing up watching him, I think I'm close with his boys. So I, I, I texted him before and just asked if it's OK and he, he said it's OK, so hopefully I can do it justice. You obviously know the club well from, from, young, from being younger. I mean, how much are you looking forward to, to playing in front of the Stoke City supporters? Yeah, I can't wait. Obviously, the fans are one of the most important things about football and, and that togetherness that the team creates for the fans, I think, is unbelievable. I can't wait to get in front of them.